Hello, I've come to Iceland on this ship which is probably as big as Iceland. These romantic traffic lights are in Iceland's second largest town, Akureyri. It's considered by many to be the capital of the country's north. Some 18,000 people live here, so by most European standards it's hardly a city and more of a town. Akureyri's church might seem bizarre at first sight, but it's quite representative of Icelandic architecture. The church is located on top of a hill, so even though it's a slight effort to climb the stairs leading to it, the view of the town and harbour from the top is worth it. These are the world's northernmost botanical gardens, founded in 1912, and one of Akureyri's gems. The gardens are known for their extensive plant collection, encompassing almost every known species in Iceland, as well as thousands from overseas. The gardens are free to visit and are looked after in the summer by school children. I'm travelling out of Akureyri now, about 45 minutes over the mountains to Godafoss, or the God's Waterfall. It's a beautiful natural creation. Its name derives from an historical episode in which the ruler of the region decided to dump all of Iceland's pagan statuettes and symbols into the waterfall to symbolise the fact that they were leaving behind the faith and turning to Christianity. This is just amazing. I've travelled about 150 miles north in Iceland from where I was yesterday. Isa Fjorda, meaning Ice Fjord or Fjord of Ice, is a town with a population of around 2,600. It's the coldest region of Iceland with temperatures of 10 degrees centigrade in July, the middle of summer. The winter nights are dark and no sunlight at all in January.
town has a number of bakeries and cafes. Now, despite its size, small population and historical isolation from the rest of the country, the town has a relatively urban atmosphere. Isafiorda has a school of music as well as a hospital. Fishing is the main industry of the town and the town has one of the largest fisheries in Iceland. In the museum, you can try dried herring and harkari, fermented shark meat, very popular in Iceland. Tomorrow, I'm off to Reykjavik, Iceland's capital. Behind me is the city of Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland. I've been to Reykjavik a couple of times before, and there's a video about the city on my YouTube channel. The city has a population of around 216,000. It's the northernmost capital of a sovereign state and despite its northern latitude, temperatures very rarely drop below 15 degrees centigrade in the winter. This is because of the Icelandic coastal weather in winter and it's moderated by the North Atlantic current itself, an extension of the Gulf Stream. Volcanic activity produces Reykjavik with geothermal heating systems for both residential and industrial districts. In 2008, natural hot water was used to heat roughly 90% of all buildings in Iceland. Now on this trip, I decided to go whale watching. Now despite the lack of pictures, I saw two minke whales and some porpoises too. Very difficult to capture on film. And now to end this glimpse of Iceland, although it's September, thanks to a solar flare, I saw the northern lights. I hope you enjoyed the video.